You are welcome to God's Word TV. Here is an online platform dedicated to spread kingdom messages to mankind. I believe this message is out to bless you. So go get your pen and paper. Let's go learn something today. As you do so, please make sure you subscribe. God bless you. The Bible recommends an approach to prayer. The most effective dimension of prayer second only to praying in the spirit is praying the promises of god write it down please praying the promises of god isaiah 41 and verse 21 the word of god as you know defines the boundary of god's commitment to the believer that means God cannot be committed to the believer outside of the provisions and the allowance of scripture. Let me repeat myself. God cannot be committed to the believer outside of the provisions and the allowance of scripture. The word of God defines the boundary of God's commitment to the believer. It says, produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the king of Jacob. Do you know what this means? Approach prayer like a legal system in the realm of the spirit. Don't just say, God bless me. Based on what? Don't just say, God change my life. You are God. That's the kind of prayer we pray. Lord, I'm tired of this situation. Arise, oh God. Based on what? He says, produce your cause bring forth your strong reasons that means bring my word to me in prayer the scriptural basis that commits me to move on that wise are we together so the devil is plaguing your family plaguing your life and you say god i'm tired of this situation in jesus name i assure you you reported your situation but you didn't pray what is the basis lord bless me uh -uh. what is the basis even jesus himself i've taught you this when satan came to jesus he said it is written it is written is what gives strength to your prayer it is not what you are saying that gives strength to your prayer it is saying what is written when you say what you want it is not prayer when you say what is wrong, it is not prayer. It's when you connect what you want and what is wrong to what God has said. Now that is prayer. Father, your word declares that though my beginning be small, my later end will greatly increase. Based on this truth, in the name of Jesus, I place a demand upon the grace that makes for advancement and increase. Now you are praying as simple as it sounds i can tell you many believers will keep shadow boxing and believing they are praying the promises of god i've taught you here that the word of god contains three things essentially every time you open scripture the word of god is a capture of promises principles and prophecies Every time you open your Bible, you are interacting with number one, the promises of God. Number two, the principles of the kingdom. Number three, prophecy. Can I tell you this? If you are a leader here of a prayer group, you are a leader here of any prayer platform, don't just tell people, pray, pray, pray. Bring the scriptures that support what you are asking. If not, I can guarantee you, you wasted your time. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall. He would have said, God, this is not fair. He said, remember, I have worked diligently. In other words, remember what your word says about those who serve your house. Can I tell you this? If you know how to bring forth your strong reason, you can go to bed. You will commit God and, and destroy, dislodge anything that is not of God in prayer. I speak life, I speak life, you're gonna leave, oh my brother, my sister, I speak life.